Hi, I've received a lot of emails asking to show how to use Packet Tracer, so it's like Packet Tracer for beginners, where to start, how to use it, how to take advantage of this application, and uh, how to set up our first uh, simple CCNA lab. Okay, so when we open Packet Tracer, we can see here it's divided into uh, eight, ten different sections. So first of all we have routers, okay, so we can use any routers we want, and it's drag and drop, so we can just move any routers we want, okay. I recommend using uh, 1841 or 2811, you have two fast Ethernet ports out of the box, with 2620X and you'll have to add some modules, I'll show you that in a sec. Then we have switches. So we have 2950s, 2960s and so on, the same applies. What is important later on, we need a PC. So let me just uh, maybe remove some of them. Okay, we'll need a PC here. So let's try and create a very simple topology here. So we have a router, a switch, and maybe we'll add two PCs, okay? Now, of course there are some other devices like hubs, wireless, cloud, that's for more advanced uh, solutions. For now you need routers, switches, and devices. The last thing you have to uh, click is table, okay? I do not recommend using the first option, because it will try and connect for you, and will not ask for a port, but the good thing is it will use a crossover a straight through cable where required. Uh, but it's pretty simple, so we know a router to a switch, we use a straight through cable, switch to a PC straight through, if that was a switch to a switch, crossover, router to router, crossover. Okay, so that is a straight through cable, we click on the router, left click, we go for a port, F0 and let's say F01 and then we use a straight through cable let's use port 24 here and port 2 okay now here on the on the right hand side you have a place note icon Okay, make sure you label everything. So this one was F00. When you move your mouse there, that's it. But they can, these labels will not stay, they will disappear. So I like to put my own label. F01. Okay, that's F02 and F024. It is very important to label your uh, switch ports and uh, ports on your router because it's much much easier. Now let's go for a network 192.168.1.0 slash 24 which means 255.255.255.0 okay so that is our network it's one and one LAN, so I will say that is dot eleven dot twelve and our router is dot one, that will be our default gateway. Okay, so take a look we have our basic topology, then it's a good idea to save it. You go to save as and you can uh, save here. So I will say YouTube basic. Okay, it's good to save it from time to time because packet tracer like any other application could crash. So it's a good idea to uh, to save it. Okay, and take a look. Some ports are green, some ports are red. Green means active, red means inactive. And the reason for that is that in most cases ports on a Cisco router will be shut down. So that's why this link 
is down. These link links are up because they are switch ports, it's a switch. So it's like a plug and play device made by Cisco. You can just connect and start sending uh, data. Okay, so we'll start from our PCs. Just click on a device and we will go to desktop. There are many different ways of doing that, but I like to go to desktop and IP configuration. 192.168.1.11 When we press the tab key it will put the subnet mask like in Windows 192.168.1.1 well, Let's put Google as our DNS server, we don't need that. There is no save button, I, I, I've seen questions like that, we just close this window, it will stay here. Okay. Uh, there is command prompt which allows you to ping, which allows you to trace route and so on. Okay, so we'll come back to it. Then we click here. Go desktop IP. Okay, and now we can try and ping. Okay, as you can see, we can ping uh, PC0. Okay, so it's here. But I will show you a really nice feature of Packet Tracer, which is simulation mode. Okay, so we, we are in the real-time mode, it's on the right-hand side. But when we click on the simulation mode, and we go for this icon, we click Source and Destination. Okay, and now we can play and we can see how this, in this case, frame is traveling from PC1 to PC2. At any stage of this conversation you can stop, double click and get some more information. So take a look. If you're studying the OSI model, that's a great, great example. So you can see uh, layer 2, we can see source, destination, MAC address, some explanation, we can see layer 3, okay, the same, yeah. okay, at any stage of this conversation, PC1 to switch 1, okay, take a look, it's a frame, okay, so, everything is encapsulated, okay, so there is no layer 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 uh, visible for us, okay, and you can see even a PDU picture here. Okay, so really handy. And uh, when something goes wrong, you can't ping, use this feature, and sometimes Packet Tracer will tell you what's going on. Take a look. This is a unicast frame, switch looks, and so on. Okay, so uh, sometimes it will tell you, oh, this route is not in the routing table. So it will tell you what the problem is. Okay, let's go back to the real mode. We can delete this message. Okay, so now what I want to show you is really a very very basic configuration of a router in a way that we can ping it and will enable telnet on it. So we click on the router and the first thing I want to show you here is module. Okay, so this is a router 1841 that has uh, slots. Okay, so uh, we can add more ports. So they are on the on the left hand side. So here we can add a switch. You have to turn it off. Yeah. And again it's drag and drop. You turn it on, close it, you will see you have more ports. Okay, so we got, we've got a switch into this route. Okay, very easy. We go to the CLI, we say no for this question, because we don't want to go through a wizard, we want to set it up by ourselves. We go to the privileged mode by typing enable. Okay, remember we can use the tab key to uh, finish our commands. Config T, okay, go to the global configuration mode. And now I have to go under my interface. In this case, interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 0. And there are two commands I have to type. First of all, I have to give it an IP address. And the IP address will be 
192.168.1.1.255.5.255.0 IP address followed um, by subnet mask and now no shut. And take a look what's going to happen port will change its state okay and it's green here as well okay that should be enough to ping our uh, PCs okay we'll have to wait for a switch because and we'll try and uh, negotiate spanning trees running on it so we have to wait for all ports to be green okay and we'll try and ping 192.168.1.12 it's one of our PCs okay and we can ping okay simple now telnet we go under line VTY and in this case we'll go for all of them and here we have to type two commands first of all it's login which enables login and second is password and password of Cisco okay so when I go to my PC I can telnet to 192.168.1.1 and password is sysc will I be able to get to the privileged mode? no okay because there is no password set that's another security option from Cisco you can't manage me remotely if there is no enabled password so we go to config key enable let's use secret of course uh, best password ever Cisco Okay, we go back, which one was it, this one, and now enable Cisco, and we are on this router. Okay, show you the simulation mode again, take a look, I am trying to ping from PC0, I'm pinging the router, okay, and I can play, okay, it goes to the switch, to the router, and back. Okay, I wanted to show you an ARP message, which is always something uh, to already know. Uh, so let's see if I can clear. Yeah. ARP. Okay, so clear the ARP table on PC0, so that should uh, remove all ARP entries, and we're trying to ping again. Okay, and take a look, now an ARP message will be created, okay, so take a look, it's a broadcast message, ARP creates a request, okay, because my PC doesn't know what the MAC address of router 0 is. I gave it a destination IP address of 192.168.1.1 but we need a MAC address, okay? So an ARP, and ARP is broadcast, it will be sent everywhere. Okay, PC1 will drop it. Router 0 will reply. We will say, oh, here is my... Correct. Here is my MAC address, okay, so that's inside, and then an ICMP message, a ping message, can be sent. Thank you very much.